Major funding for NJN News is provided by PSENG, serving customers, strengthening the business community, and investing in New Jersey's future. Wachovia, uncommon wisdom for shared success. Verizon, communication solutions designed for the people and businesses of New Jersey. And by the New Jersey Education Association, working for great public schools for every child. A win today for scores of rural towns over paying for state police patrols. From the wind to the sun, New Jersey's new energy master plan will increase use of alternative fuel sources. Governor Corzine warns urban mayors future state dollars could be tight. A Morris County Republican assemblyman announces he's running for governor. And the Pinelands Commission considers how to balance development and open space. NJN News for Wednesday, October 22nd. A victory today for 89 New Jersey rural towns. A special constitutional council has thrown out a state budget policy that would have required those towns to help pay for their state police patrols. Marie Denoya Aronson reports on the sudden resolution of an issue that has rankled local and state officials for months. Attorneys anticipated the Council on Local Mandates would take the arguments they presented today and issue a written decision within several weeks, but the Council turned it around almost immediately, finding the rural policing budget stipulation to be an unfunded mandate. And therefore is no void and unenforceable. Thank you all very much. At stake for each of New Jersey's 89 rural towns were hundreds of thousands of dollars in extra expenses to pay for the state police force that has patrolled their streets and neighborhoods for free, paid for by the state since 1921. During the budget process, lawmakers determined since it cost the state $80 million to provide the patrols, it would be cost-effective for towns to begin picking up 15 percent of that, or about $12 million. In the Sussex County town of Wantage, it would have meant an extra $448,000 and property tax increases. I can't wait to tell, the, uh, tell the, my clients, the town manager, and that uh, they can rip up the $448,000 bill. The Atlantic County community of Una Vista would have had to boost property taxes to help come up with an extra $303,000. This was a major victory for the rural towns in New Jersey today, but it was a major victory for every town in New Jersey. And while the decision was a surprise in that it came instantly, both mayors and lawyers here said their arguments were solid and believed they ultimately would prevail. But with the December 15th deadline looming, timing was everything. As of December 15th, the towns would have had to have their plans and property tax increases if necessary in place or the state would have deducted the cost of policing out of their state aid. Attorneys for the rural towns filed a complaint that alleged this new policy amounted to an unfunded mandate, making it a violation of the state mandate, state pay amendment to New Jersey's constitution. What they're doing is simply trying to find a mechanism to provide funding into the state budget by, by shifting the cost to the municipalities, even though the state police patrols are the very reason why the state police was formed to provide rural protection. That 1996 amendment also called for the creation of this council. It has exclusive constitutional authority to rule whether a state law, rule, or regulation imposes an unconstitutional, unfunded mandate on counties, boards of education, or towns. They clearly understood the issues. They understood that, that the state's contention that the Appropriations Act exempts them from the state mandate state pay was just blow a hole in our Constitution. Today's decision blew a hole, a $12 million hole in the current state budget, which the governor said last week has a $400 million shortfall already. You ask where would it come from? Is it going to come out of higher ed? Is it going to come out of school aid? Is it, you know, do you have limited choices? 75% of the budget is a pass through. So, you know, at some point, uh, if we have to come up with additional cuts, it's going to have to come from somewhere. Today, attorneys said the law is written so Council on Local Mandates rulings are final. And while today read as an instant victory for rural towns, mayors and attorneys here say it is a win for all of New Jersey, preserving a hard-fought amendment that says if the state orders a town to do or have something, the state is required to pay for it. 
Marie Denoya Aronson, NJN News, Trenton.